This video is sponsored by PUBG Mobile. Guys in squad wide baby. How's it going everybody? My name is Metalcore and welcome back to another PUBG mobile video. And as it stated in the beginning of the video, this video is sponsored by the guys who make PUBG mobile. So you guys want to show your support to my channel or the game itself, make sure you guys click the links down below, follow them on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, download the game if you haven't because today we're going to be talking about some of the things that are newly updated in the game, one of them being the PP Bison. They're constantly updating the game with new weapons, new game modes, and today's video is more specifically talking about the PP Bison, which is a brand new, kind of weird looking submachine gun. And I feel like whenever there's a new weapon released, a lot of players are so hesitant to use those weapons because they already have their arsenal of weapons that they've gotten used to. So I know, for example, when they released the Mutant, which was a, another weapon that I actually really liked, the MK47 Mutant. This weapon was very confusing to a lot of people. It was a burst gun, and a lot of people didn't really know how to use it that well. After spending hours and hours and hours of practicing with this weapon, I realized that it was a very, very powerful and usable weapon on the battlefield. Of course, a lot of people tend to just go with weapons that they are streamlined all the time, like the M416. This is a good weapon everybody uses but people forget about using the brand new weapons. Maybe when it first comes out, they give it a try, they check it out, they go in training mode, and then they go back to their M416 and AK or M416 and Car 98 combos. But I feel like this is what's happening with the Bison. But I was so excited when the Bison came out because I was able to play with the Bison a little bit before it was released, and I was able to realize how amazing this weapon is. Now, the weird look of the weapon is due to where the ammo is actually held. The ammo is held underneath, and I'll point a little arrow to it, underneath where you're actually holding the weapon. So then when you reload the weapon, you actually reload it while you're holding it. The, the you're basically holding the magazine. It's absolutely insane. This weapon is very, very interesting because not only does it have the longest magazine of all submachine guns, uh, because not even the Thompson has... A giant magazine like this one um, because this one no extended mags needed with the Thompson you do need the extended mag because when we see the Thompson here and we go to the mag and we put an extended mag it brings it to a drum magazine which holds up to 50 rounds with the extended mag but the bison already has a 53 round magazine in it and you don't even need to have an extended mag but the weird thing about this gun is that it only has two types of attachments while a lot of the other guns have more than just the two you can see here clearly the thompson is kind of like one of the ones that doesn't have a ton of attachments you can use on it but you can see here on the other ones the uzi is also kind of one that doesn't have a ton of attachments um but the ump and vector have a ton the uzi has more the thompson has more but the bison only has two currently now today we're gonna be talking about my top three tips when using the pp bison and we're gonna start with something very simple, which is just my personal recommended attachments. Now I know a lot of you guys are expecting gameplay, wanting to see gameplay, but it, there was a reason why I started out on this page rather than showing off gameplay to you guys just completely instantly. Um, and that is because I wanna show off the different attachments you can use. Now, like every single weapon that's a submachine gun to an assault rifle that allows you to have a sight on it, you can go all the way up to a six times on the bison as well as on the vector the ump and a lot of the assault rifles and stuff like that so when i first picked up the bison i asked a few questions and this is what i normally do whenever a brand new weapon is released i want to see how i can control the weapon at range if it's a weapon that i would prefer to use at close quarter combat etc etc now this weapon has crazy recoil once you start using it at range and you guys will see this here very soon when i start showing off gameplay doesn't mean that this weapon is bad having bigger scopes on it. I would suggest a six times, but bringing it down to a three times magnification or just putting a three times to give you that little extra distance if this is the only long range weapon that you have. This weapon can still shoot at long distances. It's not gonna stop shooting 
and it might deal less damage than let's say an m4 but it definitely does a lot more work when you got a smaller kind of setup on it the suppressor honestly that's my personal preference the suppressor makes the bison sound so so cool and again i did mess around i did use you know some bigger scopes like the three times the four times even and i would suggest that if there is no other option you can use the bison the recoil is insane you just gotta really figure it out and use the weapon to your advantage but i feel like Unlike other long distance submachine guns, this one can do a lot of work because the Thompson, yeah, it has a 50 round magazine, but you cannot put scopes on it. This one has a 53 round magazine, but you can put scopes on it. So you could shoot at someone really, really far away, miss a lot of those shots, but unlike having a 30, 40 round magazine and you're having to reload sooner, this has a 53 round magazine. So you can hit a lot more shots and knock those targets which is something that I realized. The Bison, again, it's a weird weapon, but it's very powerful. Now, my second tip for the PP Bison is something that I normally wouldn't say to those of you who join my stream and ask questions about certain weapons and go, hey, so what are your recommendations with the M416, this and that? Oh, wh what do you use with your M24? What attachments do you like using for your AWM? And what tips do you have for those weapons? With the Bison, it's very different, and I normally don't give these tips to anybody else or any other weapon or anything like that, and that is carry extra, 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 extra ammo. Now, not just the normal 200 ammo or the normal amount of ammo that you normally choose, and I feel like the normal amount of ammo that anybody has and keeps and auto loots when they're looting around is around 180 to 200, maybe a little bit more than 200. But with the Bison, since it shoots so much ammo out in just a short amount of time, I feel like you can squad wipe a team or get into an engagement and waste half of the ammo you have. And this isn't just with 200 rounds. This is if you're saving up 300, 400 rounds of nine millimeter. So if you really, really want to get into using the Bison as your primary weapon during that game, you really need to take up a lot of nine millimeter ammo. And one recommendation is, so you're not wasting all that nine millimeter ammo. Maybe you have a Bison sniper set up in your bison is your very, very close range weapon, very high rate of fire, tons of ammo. If you miss, you're still gonna hit because you're just shooting 53 bullets at an enemy. And then your sniper is your long distance kind of weapon for that setup. If you have that kind of setup and you don't wanna waste all that nine millimeter, let's say you have 50 7.62 ammo for your sniper and 400 nine millimeter for your bison, pick up the brand new Scorpion that was another weapon that was released. It's considered a pistol, so it's a sidearm, so you can still have your bison, you can still have your sniper, but you have this full auto pistol that can also have an extended mag that almost looks like a submachine gun. So you feel like you're not wasting a ton of nine millimeter and you have two full auto weapons and then you have your semi-auto or sniper rifle or something like that. That could be a setup that's possible. That's a setup that I have used and I currently like using whenever I use the bison. I usually go bison and then a long distance weapon and then I pick up the scorpion if I'm able to find it. So yeah, tip number two, I would suggest picking up tons and tons of ammo for the PP Bison. You'll definitely need it. Now my third and final tip is kind of putting the tip one and tip two together and merging them to tip three. You guys might seem a little bit confused about this tip because I know a lot of people don't like hip firing, but I feel like the hip firing with this weapon is very, very good because you have 53 shots, you're most likely gonna hit those shots, especially if you're in a very close range encounter. Now, I'm not saying you wanna hit fire someone who's 100, 200 meters away. I'm saying if they're right in front of you, hit fire them. If they're a few feet away from you, hit fire them. And you know, if you have the choice, if you have the reflexes, you can scope in and do your work. But if you have that kind of setup where you have a three times scope on your PP Bison, then you're most likely gonna to wanna to hit fire in really close range encounters. Now, the reason why I'm saying, yeah, it's okay to hip fire, because normally hip firing is not always the best thing to do. I do it a lot because my reflexes aren't that great. And I feel like a lot of people tend to do hip firing more than we all think. And, be, and I feel like a lot of pros, of course, are like, yeah, I'd rather aim than hip firing any day kind of thing. But with hip firing, especially in, you know, oh my gosh, there's a guy in front of me situation where you're just surprised. 
you kind of have nothing else better to do than to hip fire. Your reflexes aren't going to go to the scope, then shoot. You don't really have enough time for that. You just have enough time to start shooting back at the guy. So the Bison compared to any other submachine gun and a lot of the weapons in the game, because of how massive the magazine, the amount of ammo you have, and because of the way the recoil pattern and the way it shoots, it works very well as a close quarter hip fire weapon. And again, it's one of the best close quarter weapons in the game. Now, I'm not saying that the PP Bison is better than other assault rifles or sniper rifles or whatever you want to compare the PP Bison to. I'm not saying that at all with this video. It is a very good gun. It's way better than other guns on the list of tiers, I guess you could give the different weapons, but it is definitely not the best weapon in the game. But to become a better player at any game, more specifically PUBG Mobile, especially when you're dropping in and you have no loot to start with, let's say you drop in 100 players. You're the one guy who lands at this house and there's another guy who lands at the other house opposite of you. You go into the house and the only weapon you find is that PP Bison. Now, of course, in, you he in your head, you wanted, okay, I want the AK, I want the M4, I want my M4 car 98 combo, but you only get the PP Bison. Because of that, you need to be prepared for any situation possible. And let's say you do end up getting the bison and taking out the guy in the house opposite from you. Then he only has a shotgun. You still only have one ranged weapon, which is that PP bison. So use these tips to your advantage when you're out on the PUBG Mobile battlefield. And they definitely will prove to be very useful, especially with not just the bison, but with any other weapon. Definitely learn new weapons, learn weapons that you're not comfortable with so that in the future, in situations where you have to be comfortable with them, they'll help you out survive and get that winner winner chicken dinner. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, if you guys want to show your support to the guys who supported me today, because today's video was sponsored by the people who make PUBG Mobile. So if you guys want to show your support to myself, to the game, click the links in the description below. And also let me know in the comments what you guys thought about today's video. If you guys thought about my suggestions, my tips and tricks about the bison. The bison's a little bit too big. Wait, maybe we can see it. There we go. We can kind of see the bison. <laughs> He's holding the bison, I promise. If you guys liked the content, if you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys have any more tips and tricks, share them amongst yourselves in the comments down below. I always read all the comments and I would love to reply and see your guys' tips and tricks as well and maybe learn from you guys. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up on the video. My name is Metalcore. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.